Um, well, gold down again today, and um, mm. I believe after the show, for your lunch, you're going to be tucking into a large slice of humble pie. Yes, indeed, Jamie, but I think I had that humble, buy, humble pie a few days ago. Um, but, you know, you're absolutely right. But I think I recall saying at the time to you that if we broke below 1520, which we have, I would have to revise my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I'm revising it. <laughs> OK, so where is gold heading now then? Um, the key level for me is the 1300 area. Why? Um, simply because it's a 50% retracement of the entire up move from the $682 lows that we saw in 2008 to the all-time highs. That for me is really a key level. If we break below that, then I think we're probably going to go to 1150 that's uh, some way off. As I said in the intro there, gold's on for its uh, longest losing streak uh, in over four years. Down for six days. I mean, six mm. days doesn't sound a lot, but the biggest losing streak in um, four years. Does that mean gold's not oversold in the short term? Yeah, absolutely means exactly that. I mean, you know, while we're below this, this 1520 area, then really the outlook remains for a sell the rally outlook. Um, our clients are still trying to buy the dip, which I think is probably a mistake. Um, but I think when you're sort of into a Do mindset... Do you tell them that? I'm not, we're not allowed to guide them in that respect. We could sort of articulate that it might not such be a good idea, but we can't actually recommend that they go the other way. But, you know, having said that, you know, the outlook for gold, to talk about the Fed tapering asset purchases, the fairly low levels of inflation, there are other assets out there that are going to give you a better return, and I think that's why we're seeing the sell-off in gold that we've been seeing. I know you like your charts, and um, I'm a very, very amateur technical analyst. As far as I can see, there aren't any positive signals and charts out there, or am I just not seeing them properly? No, there aren't at the moment. As I say, once we broke that 1520 area, I said I would revise my outlook for gold. We have, and I have. And um, 1300 level is really the key level that I'm sort of pinpointing. We, could, we should get a bounce off that. But if we break below that, then we're looking at 1,150, which is a 61.8% retracement of the same move that I outlined earlier.